Hey guys, I'm back. Been gone, missing for a while. Nothing major with the uh, Corolla. Uh, just the only thing I've done to it so far is actually um, I lowered the car. Lowered it on Swiss Springs, and I think it sits pretty nice. I had uh, bought the Eibach Sportline kit, which is even uh, lower than what it, where it sits at now. Bought that first, and it didn't work out for me. I was getting that clunking issue that a lot of people are getting. Um, remove those. I had a buddy of mine remove them. Um, Installed these Swiss springs and now I don't have that clunking issue. Uh, that's the good thing about it. But um, let me show you, guys, show you guys how the car sits right now. Doesn't look too bad. That's the front. The rear. It's pretty cool. Maybe like an inch away from the, the fender on the height and now it's it's manageable it drives good handles perfect um but yeah the whole point of this video is actually because somebody or i should say um i had a company reach out to me to have me review their uh tire inflator it's, it's a very small, compact car. You can store anywhere, in, in your car, I would say trunk, under the trunk mat, maybe on the little side area where, where us hatchbacks have, that could, I will show later. Uh, but the company is, I'm, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly, Last Fit, Lace Fit, I'm not too sure. They specialize in floor mats and LED light bulbs, and now they have a tire inflator, which I'm uh, review right now, give you guys an honest review, see if it works out or not. Um, see if it's good, see if it overheats. And right now I'm gonna I'm kind of deflate my tire and, and redo all the, the uh, tire pressures around the car because I believe it's actually a little bit too high when I took it in for its first oil change. The, the tech, for some reason, put it at 41 PSI the last time I checked it. And it should be, I believe, 35 front, 33 rears. So I'm gonna deflate them to like about 25 and then just inflate them with the uh, new tire inflator. And, um, uh, We'll see how it does. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like inside the box. Um, I did already take it out and um, fully charged it. So I can just don't have to wait on a probably like three or four hour charge, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's what it comes with. When you, this, this is what you're gonna see when you first open it up. Have a little thank you on that. Um, you got your manual, then you got the tire inflator, all necessary cables that you need to either charge this or you use the uh, cigarette uh, lighter, AC accessory, whatever it's called, uh, plug-in. That's the accessory, and then your air hoses. Um, it does come with the, uh, I guess, a ball inflator and then some other adapters. We'll see if, a, if we'll need them or not. I'm going to get this out. Kind of like it's doing it one handed. Come on, there we go. So, yep, that's it. Pretty small, actually. Really small. Uh, let me see what I can compare it to. I think it's the size of like, an iPhone. What the hell was that? Oh! <laughs> Let me get my iPhone, do a little size comparison so you guys can see how small it is. This is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's comparison on the height. Well, not the height, but you know, comparison on how big it actually is. Or I should probably do it like this. Smaller than the new iPhone, but kind of chunky but it's not that chunky so you can still store it like in your glove box or uh, on the side for any of the other GR Corolla owners watching me <clears throat> store it in the little pocket that our hatch has back in the trunk area um, we're gonna peel this off oh I also did want to mention that uh, the charging cable that it comes with is a USB type C to USB but uh, anybody else should should have a charging block lying around that this will plug into or even now for us new iPhone users this will plug into 
enough. It'll plug into the backside, either here, there. It'll charge it. Uh, I believe that port right there is for the <coughs> circular lighter thing or accessories uh, socket. And then right here is where you plug in the uh, hose. It comes with two of these hoses. I'm pretty sure you can use any one you want. And it just snaps in. Like you twist and snap it in. Oh, let me go ahead and turn it on. Okay, as so you hold it for three seconds, it turns on. It's fully charged, already charged this thing. And now it's at zero. How do we set it? 35. Oh, here we go. Add. There's M. Oh, well, different mode. Okay, so basketball, just general. So vehicle, I guess ATV or any type of utility. Uh, vehicle, dirt bike, whatever. Oh, that's for bicycles or motorcycles. Obviously, we're gonna leave it here. I believe it's at, supposed to be 35, but let's go check. All right, I gotta see what the tire pressure is supposed to be on this car. And it's supposed to be front 35 PSI, rear 33. Okay. All right, let's see what it actually is. Turn this thing back on. Let it load up on and this just screws on onto your tire valve easy as that simple gonna release some air right there uh you don't have to do it too tight once it gets past the point of it just like doing that noise then i'm pretty sure you're locked in it's better than all these other uh tire inflators where you have to like stick it on clamp it on and be quick with it um, and hope it attaches correctly. And this I like this one. This one you can thread it on. It's it makes it easier. That way it doesn't just like fly off or whatever. So we're at. Okay. Gonna want to deflate it some. All right. Meanwhile, we wait for that to drop down to 30, not 35, to 25 psi. Do want to give a thanks and a big shout out to Last Fit for sending me this over and supplying my uh, my subscribers with the discount code for you guys to use so you guys could go purchase this floor mats or any of the led lights that they have there for 15 percent off my code is going to be react that's it r-e-a-c-t react you just enter that in the discount section below uh when purchasing and it should automatically apply to your cart and you're good to check out from there 30 set at 35 so we just hit the on button and it should start inflating So it did finish. Um, oh, that's weird. So right now I had actually dropped a bar. I don't know if it's like a bar per tire. Not that anybody would uh, use like the whole thing in one like go, I would guess, to do all four tires. But if you take it to the track, maybe you will. Uh, it's a good thing that it does come with the plug so you can use your own car's power to power this uh, just in case it dies. Then you just use that. But yeah, it only took about maybe two minutes or so. Two, yeah, two minutes to get up to 35 PSI. Pretty quickly. I like that. That's pretty cool. We'll do the rear uh, on its own power too. And then on the other front driver's side, I'll use the the uh, serial lighter socket thingamabob. Okay, got to take off the cap. Put the little guy here. Make sure we don't lose it. Go ahead and take some of this air out. Rears are more, 38.5. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bruh, I don't know why I didn't just notice that. Because with the LED light, so if you, I guess if you're inflating something at night, you got this little spotlight. That's cool. I thought that was going to be for the uh, <laughs> the LED display that it has. Uh, this one we do have to drop to 33. And it's going to start taking some air out. Okay, so meanwhile that, that side is inflating uh, a little bit. I turned the car on, let it load up. And just to see if the tire pressure was 
uh, accurate on the box, and it is. The front tire is now 35 psi. All right, so I just thought to myself, I mean, might as well do the back and the front with the uh, circular lighter oh, way to uh, pump this. All right, cool. That way you guys can see how long how long this cable is. Uh, but it should be able to reach like the back end of like this car. In most cars, I would say. Uh, I'm going to take this out, take my lights out. All right, I had to take this out. I'm not using my lights right now. One second. Plug that in right there. Come on. Ah, there we go. All right, either if you go through the front door or the rear door, it'll, it'll reach. Uh, but let's go ahead and plug this. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Just be able to go. Whoop. Okay, so now it's running on the power of the car. As you can see, there's no no lines on this bat. This little battery symbol. Uh, let's go see how good it does when pumping the tire. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys where to, where uh, us GR Corolla owners can store it if we, if you want to carry it. Okay, let's go ahead and open this right here. Cool. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, this thing will fit on the inside this little pocket down here for us GR Corolla owners. So if we need it, if you guys need an air pump to take to the track or anywhere, just to have it on you for all like safety precautions. Uh, yeah, it, it'll fit just there. You just drop it in there. It might move around while we're driving, but uh, Maybe it'll fit under here. Let me see. Oh Actually, it would so yeah, even if you want to It fits down here As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put mine there. It's perfect. It's it sits in there perfect <laughs> Yeah, love the uh, air compressor overall it is compact efficient and pretty quick at pumping air for that for it being a little small pump it's a really good carry-on pump um anyways but thanks for watching the video guys uh, i will be leaving the discount code at the in the description if you guys want to go check that out i'll leave the link in the description for that specific pump um hopefully you guys go ahead and pick one out or anything on their website and uh support your boy man so we can get some more parts on this car uh, I do have something coming up, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this to any, any anybody else that might be looking for a tire inflator or ball inflator. It doesn't matter. They got the stuff for it. Um, but yeah, peace.